Hello, everyone. Yesterday in the Daily Mail, there was a big article, and the article was stating that Harry is never going to bring the kids to the UK, and His Majesty King Charles III is never going to see the Sussex children. So we're going to have a look into that today, see what is going on, just exactly where are the kids. But first of all, we're going to look at the energies behind those statements um, from Megsy's perspective, from Harry's perspective, and from His Majesty King Charles III's perspective. And then we're going to have a look to see where the kids actually are. Now, if you're new to my channel, hello. We have in the past looked into the children. Recollections may vary how many kids there are and if they exist at all. One of the findings from older videos is older readings is that the royal family were not aware of the surrogacy allegedly until after Sussex child number one was brought into this world. I also from my previous readings don't believe that they are born on a certain day that they were given. The given birthday is incorrect. It's about two weeks earlier. And that that's that's the energy. That's what I get from it. Um, so the article reads like they are trying to hold the king to some type of ransom. I've also read in the past that the Harkles are trying to use the kids in the international protected persons case as well. So we're going to look into that energy first, say why we never see the kids, what is going on there. And then we're going to have a look into what King Charles feels about this all. And then we are going to have a look into just where are these kids so if you're new here please subscribe for everyone else please share the videos out and around it really helps my channel out um in the description box and in the pinned comment there's ways to contact me follow me on different social media if you want to book a reading if you want to join our group healings or anything like that it's all in the description box below have a look see if there's anything that floats your boat see if you want to follow me on x or anything like that and um yeah so thanks for being here let's get on and do it we're going to start off i feel we're going to start with harry then we're going to move to megan let's start with harry let's see his energy around this article is he using the invisible children recollections may vary how they got here and how many there are to to try and influence some type of court case. Now I'm using the garbage pail kids tower. I tend to use this mainly for Harry, occasionally use it for Prince Andrew. Similar energies there with regards to entitlement and brattiness, I feel. Um, so we are gonna have a look at that. Let's have a look. Ooh, you really jumped out. Let's see. The Seven of Cups is in reverse. The Seven of Cups is the card of choice. This is the centerpiece to what Harry's doing. He's trying to do something double-handed. He's trying to gas like everyone about the children. The child, two children, whatever. There is, there is a deception here and he's self-deceiving -de himself as well. There is going to be, I feel, an abundance of puff pieces and articles here. And he is trying to gaslight someone. And that gaslighting could well be the public. The gaslighting could well be the king. Let's see what's underneath it. Crossing over. What's crossing over? He's wanting the attention of a rich, protected, wealthy family. So he's kind of using the children as a way to try and get the attention from the royal family. The Ten of Pentacles, of course, is a very wealthy, stable family. 
but also the Ten of Pentacles can mean that they are protected. And this is what's driving him. He wants that level of protection. Okay, there we have the Hierophant in reverse. And we also have the Eight of Swords. He doesn't know what to do next. He's trying to maneuver himself around something. He's stuck in his own web. He is stuck. He is unsure of which way to go. There's so many sharp edges and he's kind of tied up in this kind of web of deceit and lies. The Hierophant in reverse, well, that could be a very anti-monarchy sentiment. The Hierophant is a very learned um, institution person. It's learning. And when it is in reverse, though, it can also mean that he is coming after or he is trying to make out that the royals are actually doing this to him somehow that hierophant in reverse could also energetically link to a taurian so the taurus the major taurus in the royal family is actually queen elizabeth ii her late majesty queen elizabeth ii and we know harry has tried to garner attention by using Queen Elizabeth II's energy this week in an interview with ITV. So I don't think that has done him any favours in the grand scheme of things. What he wants, he wants... <laughs> He wants to be celebrated and loved and liked. And that is what the energy is leaving the situation. So I feel like, I know we've had that interview this week. He was He's desperately trying to salvage his relationship with Megzi. He wants that soulmate energy. He wants some healing energy coming in. But what we've got to is the Seven of Cups in reverse. Harry could be gaslighting us or trying to gaslight us, but also be getting gaslit himself. Both of those two things are possible. When we come to Megan's cards, I'm sure we'll find out. But there is an element of control and coercion here. Then we have Leo in reverse, strength card in reverse, which corresponds to Leo. Megan is the sun sign Leo. So there's that. So there's going to be something with Megan and the children soon. And he's not going to particularly like it for some reason. He's not comfortable with it. Megan's going to have more say about the kids, I feel. Let's have a look of the image of the kids. He's not receptive to hearing anyone else's position on this. They are hemorrhaging money. This is about protection. This is about IPP status. I'll never take my kids to the United Kingdom, but you will take the titles associated with the United Kingdom for your children. I mean, there is lack of finances coming in. There is a lack of opportunity coming in and he's not receptive to hearing anything else. He thinks this I international protected person status is the answer to all of his problems. Notice how there are no pages in this spread. No pages at all. The Nine of Swords is in reverse and the Eight of Coins is in reverse. This isn't going to work. This strategy is not going to work for him. There is no children on this spread. There is no pages. There's no young energy. Um, this is a ploy to get international protected person status to garner the monarchy's attention. Um, he wants, the major issue here is he wants a financial windfall. The financial windfall will come because I'm guessing his security costs a couple of million a year. And if they can save on that, that's big money. International protected person means whichever country they are living in, and this is why he's suing Ravek, whichever country they're living in, they will receive state funded security a bit like ex-presidents yeah a bit like really high profile people visiting like a bit like what what william and catherine receive when they visit the states so they will receive that they will be looked after by a branch of the secret service somehow and it will become from um it will come from the taxpayers that's what they want. And then say say they went to and lived in Nigeria 
press X to doubt, they're not going to do that. But if they went and lived in Nigeria, Nigeria would be obliged to do the same because they're international protected persons. Any country they go to, there's some kind of treaty where they have to be treated and looked after in a certain way by the state. So that's what's really going on with the kids. They're wanting IPP status. Let's have a look and see how Megzi feels about the children. <clears throat> Recollections may vary, guys. Ace of Swords. This is a strategy. A cold, hard strategy. This is a mind game. She's trying to outmaneuver a Scorpio, a very educated Scorpio as well. A Scorpio that likes to take his time. Of course, I'm talking about King Charles. She wants to try and influence things and be kind of like really secretive about it with a high, high priestess in reverse. But everyone can kind of see this kind of negative energy and what they're trying to do. She thinks she's being discreet but she's not two of pentacles in reverse she wants to force some change she wants to have the public change how they see her and the princess of cups the page of cups is underneath this is about one of the reasons that i feel like the page of cups or in this deck the princess of cups comes up so much is they are so jealous and so butthurt about the whales children receiving protection and titles and the adoration as well that they are that it's a driver for them they look at other people and say she's doing this she's doing that i could do that better i'm better than them and she just kind of like yeah, including, including the children or child that she has. By a surrogate. This is all about um, Catherine, Princess of Wales. We've got the Queen of Pentacles there. Queen of Pentacles can relate to Earth signs. So that could be Megzi's mother, Doria. It could be Catherine, Princess of Wales, who is a Capricorn. Let's pull a clarifying card just to get clear of who that Queen of Pentacles is. The lovers in reverse. The lovers in reverse, I feel like with the two of cups there, Harry's trying to do this for his relationship to try and get IPP status. The lovers in reverse there, I feel this is something to do with more with Doris. The lovers in reverse here, this is a kind of strategy her and her mother have. If he gets IPP, she will stay with him for a bit. If he doesn't get IPP, he's toast because she thinks she could be able to do better on her own. She is threatening to leave him constantly. The Ten of Wands is in reverse. The Empress in reverse. And the Three of Swords in reverse. The Empress in reverse, when we're talking about children, allegedly for entertainment purposes only, she did not have children herself. And she knows it's the talk of the internet. She knows there's a lot of people talking about it. She did not have kids herself. The three of swords in reverse. So there's some wounding here. She's, it's a very difficult subject for her. Because there's a level of level of being ashamed for somehow there's no shame if you can't have kids but there is shame if you lie and inflate a moon bump and lie to your family that you have just married into and lie to the press and lie to everyone else there is a real shame there but she can't have kids with that empress in reverse now, I think the royals are savvy to the surrogates now. I don't think they were savvy around the time of... I don't think they found out until after Archie was born because I do remember that when Archie was born, there was a lot of 
to and fro in the press and there wasn't the standard announcement harry went off and did it all by himself and there wasn't any signatures on the birth certificate there wasn't any checks and balances for the line of succession if you will so let's have a look at how the king is feeling about all of this in the newspapers and i would like you to i'd like to just draw your attention to the fact that there are no apart from the wales children <clears throat> there is no there is no Sussexy kids here at all. Knight of Wands, he is definitely revved up when it comes to Harry and Meghan. And I think a part of that is from this interview in this last week that Harry's done on ITV. The Eight of Wands is just a negative bombardment with negative puff of puff pieces, negative energy around him. I feel there's a le there's a level of frustration there from the king. He feels he feels like he's getting attacked. The seven of wands there, Megsy wants to kind of go on and wrap everyone's knuckles for daring, asking where the children are. We have the two of pentacles there. He's going to keep it pushing. He's going to keep it moving. Um, I don't think this dude is going to react. And we have the king of cups in reverse here. William is more incensed by all of this than the king. He, The king can see there is some foreshadowing here of... Uh, building up of a rhetoric where they're going to try and come for William, Catherine and the Wales children again. The high priestess is in reverse. He knows. He knows the secrets. He knows what's going on. He knows more than they think he knows. Three of swords in reverse. That is what was surrounding Megan. They were wanting to hurt the king with this. They're wanting to hurt the king by a denial of access to the invisible children or child. The Four of Cups and the Ace of Wands. He thinks that they're just trying to alter the course and fire things up and alter the course of the energy that is around them. He thinks this is that just them trying to rebrand. He's not unreceptive to seeing the kids with the Four of Cups in reverse there, but I wouldn't say that is like a major I'm completely bothered. The Five of Cups, there is some hurt and regret there around the children. And he wants to avoid that. But the Seven of Swords comes in. <clears throat> and we see here... With Harry, it's not working. We've got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. With Megsy, she's got the Four of Pentacles there. So she's going to try and control the narrative again. And we have the Seven of Swords in reverse for His Majesty. So the Seven of Swords is in reverse. He is, there's going to be, there's something going to come out about the kids. We're looking at some point in the future. I mean, these people, I always say this with royals and celebrities when politicians any reason on them these people live very full colorful lives they meet a lot of people they have a lot of different experiences that us normal folk don't have so their life can come up a lot quicker this is going to come up a lot potentially come up a lot quicker usually this is three to six months this is six months to 12 months but these 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 aren't normal rules for the higher ups you know these events the seven of swords is in reverse the seven of swords is taking something it's the card of espionage it's the card of looking through things it's the card of exposing somebody who has been a little bit tricky it's the card of deceit so there is a deceit here a big deceit and there's some serious gaslighting going on um megsy is threatening harry to correct his public image and she wants the IPP case one. That's her That's her red lines with Harry because she thinks it's damaging her brand. With Harry, he wants the IPP case because that's what Megsy's told him to save money on security. So he thinks that will fix everything for him. Spoiler alert, Harry, it won't. With regards to his majesty, he thinks they're playing some kind of long game. They're trying to... They're trying to um, 
keep things they're trying to reel him in and he's not wrong with the two of pentacles you're not going to get much a reaction but there may be some statements that is going to be quite wounding to him coming from the sussex's camp however they are going to get found out about something with the children sooner rather than later um definitely if they're using to coercive control the king from afar that's all they've got now they can't release any more bombshells unless they're just completely made up that they, they will hex themselves again she will be her own worst enemy if she tries to release any old bombshells she will absolutely they're on a life raft at the minute and it's leaking but they'll go down like an ocean gate <laughs> sub if they're not careful it's the they are going to absolutely something's coming guys um and usually when I say something's coming, I just want to point out, I was like, something's coming. And then the South Park episode drops and that completely finished them in the public. Like the mindset, when you think Harry and Meghan, most people who aren't invested in this will be like, oh yeah, South Park. And then there was something else coming and it was the near catastrophic car chase, remember? And they, they do these things. So when I say something coming, there's, there's something coming. It's going to involve above kids and it's going to be a load of rubbish and the king's going to see through it where are the kids though there is no kids in these readings apart from the wales children megs is obsessed with them let's have a look at archie first five of cups the sense of loss and regret there the hierophant in reverse and judgment in reverse the hierophant in reverse are they keeping him out the way because they don't want him to be seen by the monarchy the judgment card in reverse suggests that they are going to get harshly judged for what is going on with Archie and there is a sense of sadness and loss around this child the Hierophant in reverse would say to me that when I'm saying he's not quite a Torian he is he's probably the cusp like I predicted I said he would be about the 20th of April he was actually born the judgment card in reverse, there's an overbearing criticism. Now, Harry and Meghan are going to get judged very harshly for any nonsense they try and pull with those kids now. Let's have a look at Lily Books. There's a sadness there. I don't think. Let's have a look. The High Priestess in reverse. There is some major lies when it comes to Invisibit Lily Butts. The high process in reverse, there is a I don't believe we've ever seen the actual Lily Butts. I don't believe we've actually seen her. I don't believe that photo that the weird photographer guy with the pretty forehead released was Lily Butts looked a little bit like too much like august for me and second cousins don't usually look that similar the six of staffs though six of wands we could well be seeing her around the time of ingriftus isn't ingriftus in canada next year i wouldn't be surprised about that and we have the two of cups here.
they're going to try and make more of Lily books than they are of Archie. That is really interesting, especially with Harry's energy. Is Archie living with Megan and Harry? Massive risk. Queen of Cups. Patience. She's, Archie is, spends a lot of time, there's a risk here with Archie about where they're living. Queen of Cups. He spends a lot of time with a water sign woman. So we're looking at a Scorpio and Air, uh, an Aries, a Scorpio, a Pisces, or a Cancerian. And the hangs man, you're going to have to wait and find out. Where's Lily Bucks? Eight of Swords, finding the way out. Three of Cups. From these cards, I think there are going to be more questions around Lily Books, especially with the tower. I feel like something is going to happen with the kids and there's going to be an incident that reveals the truth about children. And it's going to be catastrophic. Like, I don't mean something bad's going to happen per se to any children that are either... <clears throat> representing the kids but there is some navigation and legalities around lily books and then there's a celebration so i think the lily books might be completely or hasn't been completely within their control we have the three of cups a little celebration so a little party and then we have the tower. An act of God, a lightning strike. There is going to be a moment where Lily Books is known. And it's not going to be comfortable for them. I feel like... I Archie's definitely with the Queen of Cups more. More often than not, Lily Bucks. Well, there's going to be something. There's going to be some drama involving definitely the second hatched energy. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Keep an eye out for that some drama and that could tie up with what the kings the energy they have the seven of swords in reverse anyway that's what i've got for you guys that's what i see in the cards i don't think archie is with them a lot i think Lily Books hasn't has been embroiled in something. There's some legalities involved in Lily Books, but there's a celebration there. So I think Lily Books may be with them at the minute. And then we have the tower. I also think, and I've read on this, that Harry and Meghan are living separately. Harry's on a constant devaluation, love bombing cycle until Megsy gets what she wants, which is IPP. She wants security secured for her and well, whoever for the rest of her life. That's what she wants. And she'll not necessarily get that if she makes a move to divorce Harry straight away. They're playing a very silly game, I see. Anyway, guys, that is what I have got for you today. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you find this reading interesting. We'll be back from some more readings at some point tomorrow. Take care of yourselves and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Bye, everyone.